Black Panther has reached another milestone. Naomi Camel finally gets recognition. Students show their leadership skills in March for Our Lives. Didi and Jay-Z cause an uproar. Amber Rose laments about her breakup with rapper 21 Savage. We have our photo of the week and more, so stay tuned. Welcome to What's the 4 and one your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. I'm Onika McLean. Hello, hey. everybody. Welcome to the show. Yes, and we cannot get enough of Marvel's blockbuster hit, Black Panther. We just can't. Wakanda forever. Shimmy. All right. Oh, Wakanda. I think you can Wakanda dab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be dumb. I could I, that. Oh, wait. <laughs> Is that a dab? Is that a it, good dab? It's, it's, it's a decent dab. It's a decent dab. Okay. <laughs> Black Panther is now the highest grossing domestically, we're only talking in the U.S., superhero film of all time. Can you believe that? So the movie has taken in a whopping $631 million in the U.S. alone. Wow. And so the <laughs> that figure passes the Avengers, which brought in... Six hundred and twenty-three point four million dollars back in two thousand twelve. So that was domestically as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that Ooh. was um, mm. it's amazing. Well, woo, woo, people talk. Okay, so <laughs> songstress Alicia Keys is doing a biopic of mm. guess who? Oh. Alvin Ailey. Oh, nice. His life. Isn't that going to be amazing? That is going to be really, really oh cool. Oh, my God. All those Leons. From, what was it? From fame. What was that guy? Leroy's. Oh, oh yeah. Leroy <laughs> in those tight, tight pants. I can't wait. Go ahead, Alicia. Oh, my God. You think gosh. it's going to be a lifetime? Yeah. Uh, d- just don't. Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> lifetime is the biopic place to be. Terrible, no. terrible. Okay, I'm just saying, okay. Mm-mm. Mary J. Blige is, she was about to sell her house, and I guess she rethunk it. And mm. so she's taking it off the mar- off the market. It is amazing. Wow. It is in New Jersey. Uh, so I want to say it's um, $12.3 million. She bought it for $12.3 million okay. in 2008. And now I've read that it's worth $88.8 million. I don't know. Like I don't Maybe know. Because she kept dropping the price. Tra- because she couldn't get it sold. She couldn't get it sold. And I wonder now, if she's leaving because can do. What, what do you guys think? Because you know how when you cut your hair off and you sell your I house and get a new car when when the man leaves. I mean, like the divorce is settled now, right? So she's like, okay, I'm not I, can take, I, can, I can take back my house I'm now. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> Go ahead, Mary. All right. So Naomi Campbell Speaking will receive. Edges. Tw- <laughs> oh, sorry. Naomi Campbell. We'll receive 2018 Fashion Icon Award from the Council of Fashion Designers of America. Now, Campbell will receive the long overdue. Girl. Remember, remember when Naomi came with the girl the head? And the shade, the Push shade. The, hit our sister in the head with the phone. Okay, sorry. The shade, damn it. Take the light off. All right, so Campbell received the long overdue award. So I'm surprised she hasn't run it before. <laughs> On June 4th, right here. In Brooklyn at the Brooklyn Museum. Oh, nice. Oh, let me shut up. She's going <laughs> she to hit you in the head with the phone. You <laughs> so, better hide no, your phone. No, she won't, though. Hide your phone. <laughs> I'm from East New York. You're going to come out. It will never it. happen. Swing it will it. never happen. Oh, it's, Lord. Yeah, I'm built differently. But anyway, <laughs> Amber Rose. Who Looking is, it out. Who is, who is built differently, too? You saw those pictures of Amber. Oh, but anyway, so Amber Rose is broke up with 21 Savage. Oh, Lord. All right. So how old is Amber? I think she's 34 or 35. 34? Th- yeah. Put that in the comments down below, guys. Okay, so... 21 so, Savage is 25. So, so a tw- Oh, 21 Savage is not... Like, he's not he 21. can't be 21 anymore. He's not so 20. he has to change his name every year. Like, what? Okay, sorry. No, Forever okay. 21 is Forever 21, right? So he could be 21 Savage forever. But 21... Forever 21 is a business, Kizzy. Well, he's a man. He's a, a man. That's his brand. Okay. 21 Savage. So, okay. anyway, so she went to Twitter and she was like, oh, I love him. I miss him. I think about him every day. But she d- she deleted the post after, so I don't know what that was about. But I don't know. But she, but she was she's probably like, feeling some type of way. And she's been getting um, trolled a lot. Like, um, they were talking about her son. Like, her son, um, what did they say about her son? Her son, um, what happened with her son? Goodness, goodness, because they were calling him the little five-year-old boy gay. They meaning the freaking trolls on Twitter. Uh, but no, what kidding, happened? People oh, oh, limit. I know what happened. Um, uh, Taylor Swift mm-hmm. gave her son, like, this 
great a swag bag okay. or whatever because Taylor Swift is his favorite artist or whatever. Oh, really? And then, yeah, so then the trolls were giving him crap about that. He's, He's five, like, y'all. I know. He's five. They were saying that he was gay because he likes it. And she flipped out. She flipped out. She was like, my son has more money in his bank account than you do. Uh -huh. And actually, we're letting him just be free because his parents are creatives and he's going to be a creative. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Sure. Go ahead, Amber. Have you noticed that n nowadays, the pr that stuff that used to be private, you know, mm -hmm. are all public conversations now? Like, we're talking about everything under the sun, like sex, drugs, alcohol. I'm, I'm like, like your set? Yeah, I'm just excited about it. Come see me all the time. But what do you think? You think, like, you don't think something should be left for the imagination? I mean, I, mean, I think you can blame that for, on social media, right? As soon as you started putting everything on social media and doing things for likes and doing things for the gram and doing all that stuff, I think it just opened everything wide I'm about open. to get married for the gram. I told my girlfriends that. I was like, I'm about to settle down. <laughs> and I don't care if I like it or not. I'm doing it for the gram. And you know why? Because oh. my mattress is tilting. It's like... It's tilted. It's tilted. I've been sleeping alone too long. Oh, God. I feel like I'm more. You need to opposite. get yourself the sex doll that we've been talking about. The guy? For several shows. No, I don't want a whole doll because I don't know where to put it and I don't like clutter. <laughs> but you're even at your bed, the very least. Yes, that's what I need because it's it's like <laughs> sag, only one side of my sheets be dirty. The other side's <laughs> brand new. It's so messed up. I'm just saying. Oh, my God, girl. You're crazy. Yeah, see? Bringing stuff out that would have been private. Publicly, I'm That's just what saying we're talking about. it's tilting. I feel like I'm on a seesaw. You know, like back in the days when they hold a seesaw down and you be up because the bully won't let you down. That's how I feel when I'm going to sleep. All right, I'm sorry. We'll be right back with what's popping. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> what would the neighbors think? <laughs> Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. So you know what happened with Facebook, right? Ooh, it's Mark Zuckerberg and the Russians and, and selling your stuff. Pretty much all that. So it's come under fire for from the business community and politicians who were calling on him to testify before Congress, they're yeah. not playing games, mm -hmm. um, for allowing companies like Cambridge Ana Analytica to gain access to its users' personal data without informing their users of it first. And they're not telling them how their data will be used, mm -hmm. not allowing subscribers to opt out of but you know, what they, the data. But what they actually and, did was they were like, um, asking people to fill out surveys, right? And so say you filled right. out a survey and you shared that, then they had access to your friend's information. Right, so, so it, it got, and not everybody filled out got, a survey, but what they were able to do was look at the stuff that you like and what they were trying to do is sell your profiles to businesses so that they can make money off of it and then it just Oh yeah, and also for political purposes because they're working it got for, hand. for Trump. Yeah. But that's the thing, that's what they're saying. Like you as Facebook, you have this whole platform. You have to make sure that the data that they are taking, mm -hmm. like these outside apps, are actually using it the way they say they're going to use it. They said that's what they Zuckerberg want. asked the guys, um, well, some of the uh, the apps that he first let in mm -hmm. to delete the data, but th there's no way you can make someone delete the the data. So, like, what he what he actually said was, you know, when you're doing something that you've never done before, you know. Facebook was like for college you students. the world. It, right. So you have to kind of like change with it as it goes along. Right. You know, and people are going to manipulate it and people are going to, you know, like bring something to it that was never intended. And that's what happened. But, so, well, okay. So what do you think? Do you think that this is going to spell the end of Facebook? Is it going to go away? Remember MySpace nah. and Friendster and all those old ones? Yeah, but is it, it going to go away or but they went, do people the, not care? But those, their, those data? things went away because we had a Facebook. You know what I mean? People, society at this point are mm -hmm. engaged, fully engaged with oh. each other. You don't feel that? Mm -hmm. You think that somebody's going to no, get rid I of their Facebook? Facebook? I think Facebook, bored. I think Facebook did it better, but Friendster and that MySpace, they were bringing people together the same way. But, you know, once ultimately... Once you get a new app, once, what I'm saying is once you get a new system, once you get a new game system, once you get something that's bigger in technology, more advanced, then what are you going to do? You're going to get rid of the old stuff, Okay, right? so you think that people are going to continue to stay on the platform, 
Is and long? they don't really care about, you know, the fact that their data is, you know, up for grabs. No, no, no. See, that's two statements. I think that people are going to stay on the platform. Okay. And Facebook is going to give some kind of privacy settings and all that stuff. And then they're going to promise a whole bunch of stuff. And then people are going to, like, forget about it like everything else. Like okay. people's, people's okay. data being sold, like experience old dad um, um, chase was compromised. It happens all the time in this in this new yeah. technology world. It just happens all the time. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I don't think that Facebook is going to be able to completely save and and protect your data. From your bank people can't. Who want it. If your bank yeah. can't, then then what? And that's supposed to be secure logins. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, okay. So if you do want to delete. Your Facebook, though, because there was this whole movement <laughs> called sick. Delete. I heard it. Delete Facebook. Hashtag Delete Facebook. <laughs> yes, there's a few things. So I, I saw this on New York Times, and I thought I would share we it. We want so to tell a few the people how to delete Facebook? If they want to, and why. Okay, so so first of all, there's a few things you need to know. One, all the other apps you use outside of Facebook that you connect to through Facebook, like LinkedIn, like Hulu, like Instagram, before you delete it, Make sure you change the way that you log into those sites. So you change it from Facebook to your email and your password. Oh, because otherwise, then you will well, let lose, me write this down. Lose your all of you know, access to those apps. Link <laughs> in from Facebook. Okay, I got all it. those things too. So you know, a lot of you folks at home like to be swiping right on all those cuties and stuff like that. If you delete Facebook, guess what? No more Tinder for you. It's, so be no, no, careful. no. You can do Tinder by yourself. Uh, not that I know. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know soul right. swipe. You can do soul swipe. Right. So Negroes are us. Negroes are us. You can do Negroes. As, uh, as you got to log in. They got a, they got a, uh, a website. They got a URL. Right. Oh, my God. No. Okay. So, yeah, your Tinder is, is linked through Facebook. That's how you connect to, to Tinder. Not that I know. Really? Um, so That's how you do Tinder? How does it go through Facebook? It goes through Facebook. What about Coffee Meets Bagel? I don't know about that. Oh, what, what about the other ones you want? Caribbean cookups. <laughs> Caribbean hookups. That's a new. That's oh, sorry. oh, you know what? Gotcha. All right. So yeah. So you just be careful about that as well. Um, and another thing I didn't realize, and this shocked me, is that even if you're not on Facebook and you delete your Facebook, Facebook can still track you. So basically, like if you're like for example, say your friend is a Facebook user, right? Uh huh. You're in their contacts. They upload their contacts to Facebook because, you know, that's kind of like the default thing unless you say no. So they can do a suggestion friends thing. And, or, or, or they can just have your name and then they have your email and now they can track you where you go on the Internet even though you because don't have Because it's Facebook. a location app. But, but, but all you yeah. have to do is turn your locations off in your settings. If you put locations off of Facebook, they can't grab you. That's not how that works. I think, no, they, still, they can still track your movements throughout, throughout the Internet. That's how they do it. It's no. something called like the social graph. They can track you. Okay, maybe that's something different. So see, that's what I'm saying. That's my what's knowledge, crazy. My knowledge is for, in settings. So see, that's After what you that. got you to be aware of that too. And finally, once you say, you know what, I'm done. I've done all this. I've unlinked all my LinkedIn, my Hulu, my Instagram. I don't care about Tinder. I'm off of it. You know what, I'm not in nobody's contacts. Still in all, the data that you've uploaded to Facebook through other apps is still available through those other apps. And they are not required to delete that data, yeah, even though yeah. you've deleted your Facebook data. Right, of course. That's still there. Because so, they bought it. They bought the data. So there you go. So what, if you what? really want to be off the grid, then Nobody you have to make sure. Nobody wants to be off the grid, Kim. No, 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 some people. Who? Let me tell you, there's a whole, <laughs> whole, there's a whole articles and articles of people who were saying, I am done with Facebook. Not off the grid completely, but they're off of Facebook for this reason. So the so thing LinkedIn is... So LinkedIn is about to be popping. So, pr so people, to protect your data... Make LinkedIn and Facebook now. Protect your data. That means when you like have apps and you have like um, games and stuff, make sure that you don't give them permissions. So there's certain permissions. We have to get permissions for your, your contacts, your location, this, that, and the third. Make sure to uncheck all those so they can't track you. You just feel real anti-Facebook, anti-social media... I'm not feeling safe here. <laughs> Come and get me. She in a sunken place. She I ain't in no sunken place. I'm, I'm trying to elevate place. us all out of this no data feeling that's happening here. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. Okay. More data. Right? Okay. Jay-Z. Yeah. The Jigga Man. Mm. Hove. Yeah. Young Hove. 30's the new 20. <laughs> and Puff Daddy. Diddy. Diddy. What do you call himself now? The golden child? What, what, he, he, said what was he saying? He said, oh, he said I I'm the love, he said. the love doctor. I don't love know who, bro, the, who, love who, bro, who the hell you are, Diddy. 
you know you you know who you are Justin's father and Quincy's whoever you know who you are the six kids yes mm-hmm. Diddy mm-hmm. Ciroc yes. De Leon mm-hmm. this is what they Revolt were about to do TV, this, yes. is, this is what they were talking about doing those two mm-hmm. mogul mogul billionaires whole yes. time of they're about to collaborate okay clothes shoes I don't know M- motion films alcohol no an app all they're right gonna do an app. Okay. they're gonna do an app where you can find black owned businesses throughout the nation okay that I've heard of that before though yeah but we have that app yeah we have that <laughs> we I've have that, that app I've so I don't before. but look we have alcohol too but we don't have alcohol from P Diddy so maybe maybe that may be the spin on it yeah I mean I think that I think they have a point in the sense that uh, we do need an app. We need an all-encompassing app. The problem is, like, when you go on, for example, like Google Play or whatever, like I was looking, I was like, oh, let me see if I can find these buy black apps. They are smaller. They have, they're either, like, for a certain state or, you know, a certain small part of the United States or the United States, but they have just, like, a few hundred right. companies. And you know there are way more than that. So I do of think... Commerce. They probably just go to the Black Chamber of Commerce, They commerce, need right? an app to scale. To cover like the the entire country, the co- you know what I mean. That that's really? what they need. And they need a scalable app. I would love to see that. Mm-hmm. But the point people were making, the people who are pushing back on social media, like why are they doing this, is that they think a better thing to do would be to do like what Nas did. You know what Queensbridge? Uh uh-uh. uh So Nas school has me, this. School me. So yes, girl. Um, Nas has his Queensbridge ventures, which he basically uses to like invest in all types all of black businesses. In all types of companies. I so, thought that JC said he was gonna do that, right? He said that he's, he's doing gonna do he's it. actually doing you know what he did recently, like in like I mean like a week ago, is that he um, actually invested in this thing called Promise. Mm-hmm. And this app, what it does is give alternatives to bail. Mm-hmm. and prison time for people who cannot afford bail. So he's really changing the game with that. Three million dollars into this app let to this, keep people out of prison. So you little it's amazing. trolls, back up. Let these two very, 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 very smart black boys figure out this little app, and it'll be about buying black. It will. That, Just give yes. them a minute. Just yes. give them a minute. That and also... Mm-hmm. Also, you have to make sure that you're investing in the companies. Because the company... Okay, so for example... What Nas is but doing. they, but they have to, you know. With some of those companies, they have to come to the market. You know what I mean? None of that. A lot of those companies aren't public companies yet. Like, how do you just? And what do you? How do you know about them to invest in them like that? You I know? mean, if if it's your job to do that, if you are, have an investment firm, then you're going to seek that out. Mm-hmm. So, like what I said, Nas was doing is like he's investing in a black tech company called I think it's called Spend With. Mm-hmm. And what they do is basically they have all types of companies throughout the country. Uh huh. And it's e-commerce, brick and mortar, the whole nine, and then they group them up by culture and demo, demographics. So you can have black companies, you can have Latino, LGBT, Muslim. Oh, like and the so cannabis it's a whole companies, thing. like how you can do like a whole cam- cannabis conglomerate, right? Yeah, and then you okay. right, and then people can find but it by I whatever they're culturally that, seeking. And that, that means was doing something that like you that. scale up. So that person now has money that they need to do their business, and they build that app. So you're actually building... So, so, what, so what would they, what would they do? They would invest well. in Nas's company. Who would no, no, no? They would have their own company similar to what Nas is doing to help people to help no, black so, entrepreneurs. So the lay person, if I wanted to invest my money, what would I do? I would go to Nas's company, and they would build like a portfolio for me, or just my. I don't know. I mean, I think in terms we're talking about in terms of like just go people to my regular like, broker and just. You could do that, but I think in terms of, we're talking about artists who have Mm. millions and millions and millions of dollars to invest, the money might be, would go further if you invest in the companies that are, you know, who can create this app later on as opposed to just an app. Or if more black people start investing in businesses. That too, yes. You know what I mean? Like when people say a brokerage account, they think that it's something so far off. It's not Mm -hmm. like crazy expensive. It's like $5 a trade. Like there's so many ways that you can do it online now. Right, right. It's all these But people would get afraid of that. They're like, oh, investments, I don't know. Yeah, but but we're here to bring it to them. Yes, yes, yes. So, you know, kudos to Jay-Z and Diddy. Okay. All right. (laughs) Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner soon. Please.
You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Have you guys noticed, like, the man-spreading, like, advertisements that are all over, like, the subway and stuff that says, like, no man-spreading? Have you noticed? I have not. But you know, that's just more of this feminism. Oh, I forgot Me Too you. Movement. Oh, I forgot you drive everywhere, you know. I don't. I, you know, I take people like myself, you know, you got to take this train. No, no, I, just, I take the train, but I mean, I do drive too. I'm, I'm not She's gonna, like, I do take I'm not, the train. I'm not going to feel bad about well, that. Not, I, I pay for the goddamn car. That's what happens <laughs> in insurance. But people like me who ain't got no car, it is prestige. I'm 45. Okay. I'm 45. It doesn't matter. I had like prestige. 20 more years to get it together. Lord. I'm okay. just saying. Listen. Okay, let, let's go back. Okay, the new regulation has sparked a debate on social media, and that debate is... On one hand, people are saying, you know what, this is just men trying to dominate spaces and whatnot in this whack. Um, and another, Maybe they another have, like needs more space. And another one is that argument that they just have the anatomy, they have balls, and so they need to, you know, sit like that to give it but space. That's, but that's not so true. What do you think? What about those guys? All these guys with these tight ass pants on, like they, <laughs> that's what like, I'm saying. They can like, barely walk. You see these guys? They <laughs> switch it so hard. Like, you see the chubby guy. And his pants is like so tight. He can't even get up his thighs. You know that he was like jumping to get them up. Okay, I'm sorry. The man spreading is 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 it's it's okay until I need mm-hmm. them. And then what I'll say, this is what I've done before. I've done this before. Anybody that knows me mm. know I'll say, tighten it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh my god, the man must look at you like they tighten it up too. Because they, they look stupid as hell. I'll be like, tighten it up. <laughs> Listen, and then you're not you trying to like take your little space on the side and they leg touching you, then you're trying to get smaller and they getting bigger. It's like, come on, too much. Tell me, tighten it up, tighten it up. Hashtag tighten it up. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I like that. That's a new hashtag, girl. Hashtag. You know, that's gonna be trending in the tighten up. It'll be, it'll be about Kegels. <laughs> <laughs> Again, private conversations now public. <laughs> Exhibit A. All right. So. The amazing thing that happened recently, the March for Our Lives. The late Dr. Martin Luther King's granddaughter was there. She was she? She, she. She was nine years old, and her name is Yolanda Renee King. Um, So she was one of the highlights of the March for Our Lives. She came out, and she did kind of like a rendition of her, you know, grandfather's um, speech. I have a dream, and she said... Her dream is that when it comes to guns in our country, enough is enough. And that was, like, amazing. But that was not the only girl who was doing big things at, at <laughs> the March for Our Lives. Another young lady, I mean, she really electrified the crowd. I mean, she is 11 years old, and her name is Naomi Wadler. You're going to remember this name because she's going places. Her speech was, like, Ama- I literally it gave me goosebumps. I'm not just saying that. She said, and this is in part, I'm here today to represent all the African American girls whose stories don't make the front page of the national newspapers, whose stories don't lead evening newscasts. I'm here today to represent the African African American women who are victims of gun violence, who are simply statistics instead of vibrant, beautiful girls full of potential. Mm. Wow. Mm. And so she was really like, you know what? Let's talk about all of the women who are gunned down, too. This is our problem, too. And we don't talk about it and enough. The police I mean, are still shooting us. I'm just oh, saying. Oh, yeah. Stephen Clark, you know, Stephen Clark, yet another man shot in his grandmother's backyard, which is insane. But I, I read an article and they were talking about some, talking to some students in Chicago mm-hmm. that went to the march and, um, spoke mm-hmm. and they were talking about you know we have the same issues and yes a mass shooter does not come in our in our schools and shoot but but after school people get shot all the time right like the guns are still in our our neighborhoods right. and they said that it's they're going to change the narrative and the narrative is going to include you know these kids from chicago and 
uh, children from the, uh, the, yeah. the, the, the the school that it happened at. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm just stuttering, but they they were collaborating and mm -hmm. just trying to figure out how you know, they can change the world, right? right. The, the, the youth changed the world. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. Yeah. 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 The um, changes the world. So. No, definitely. I, I mean, mean good for, good so, so you feel like there is definitely, this is representing a turning point in our politics. I just hope the narrative does not change, right? Because what happens is they, they always use the tricky language. You know, black lives matter means not all lives matter. You know what yeah. I'm trying to say? So, you know. And you start we, having conflicting lives. Blue lives matter. This It's like, no, right. we all matter. So that happens. So I just, my, my real thought is that we can just keep your eyes on the prize because the NRA does not play. They don't. You know, those lobbyists are relentless. So, and I well, I like I like the unity that that you were talking about. You know, mm -hmm. with you know black and brown people as well as white people as well as everybody. It's not. It's gun violence affects everybody. It's not just you know, hey, people are going into a school and shooting up you know a few dozen kids. Right. It's like every day in the inner city, people are being shot. Uh, so you know, it's important that keep it. Keep the pressure from all sides. We have to get a handle on the guns. We have yes, to get a handle on the police. We have to get a handle on racism as a whole. Like, yeah. enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything, it is I. Cruz, zinc or bell? Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always yeah. worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. And our photo of the week is of a man spread eagle. Tighten it up. Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner oh. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. So once again, I don't know where the time goes. But that's going to do it for this week's edition of What's the 4 and one your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. Until next week, check out our website, www.whatsthe411.com. And remember to hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the 4 and one TV. You know what else you guys can do? You can download our podcast. And so you can find it on iTunes, Stitcher, and TuneIn. Download our podcast, because listening to us is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm Kizzy Cox. <laughs> And on behalf of my co-host, Anika McLean, thank you for spending time with What's the 4 on 1? 